Yeah, I'm a Hereford boy. I'm, local, I'm actually from Ledbury, so I'm about 20 minutes from Hereford. So. Oh, awesome, yeah, man. Yeah, local lad. Is it a bit of a dream come true for you playing for Hereford? It is a little Hereford. bit. It oh. is a little bit, yeah. I was, I was with the academy a bit when I was younger as well, so yeah. coming up, it's, I'm privileged to be in the position I am. So, yeah, really, really lucky, yeah. Awesome, man. And what's it mean to you guys? I mean, obviously, Wembley is like, doesn't really get any bigger than that in sort of football, does it? I, I've been told. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, how, how's, how's that, man? Getting good play there? Yeah, just buzzing. It's just like, and the fact we can have some fans there as well. I think we've got about 3,000 Hereford fans coming as well. Um, wow. So considering everything that's happened this year, it's just so good to yeah. actually be able to play there and get fans in there as well. So. Of course, have you even played in front of an audience yet? The whole COVID thing. Yeah, we had like two games over like Christmas time where we had fans in, but apart from that, yeah. Nothing, nothing all season. And was that like a like a real spread out sort yeah. of socially distance? Yeah, like? they had about 800 in there, like all like spread out loads at Edgar Street. So it's been surreal this season, not having any fans in whatsoever. But luckily, we've got a few in at Wembley, and it'll be really good atmosphere. Yeah. Hopefully, and obviously amazing to play at Wembley as well. Yeah, and I bet you'll get a bit of a sort. It's going to be that adrenaline buzz, isn't it? Being Massive. in Wembley, 3,000 fans. Yeah, yeah. So who are you guys playing in Wembley? What's the... So we're playing a team called Horn Church. Mm -hmm. um, they're actually in the league below us, but they beat. Um, quite a few good teams on the way. They've beat teams in the league above us, so yeah, yeah. they're a really good team. It's going to be a good challenge in the final. And what cups are for? Uh, the FA Trophy. Ah, oh, awesome. So it's like the league above us down to two leagues below us. Yeah. Uh, four different leagues all competing for one trophy. And what little I do know about Hereford, I do, uh, as in football wise, um, is I do remember sort of Hereford's got the reputation for being sort of giant killers in the FA Cup. Oh, yeah. He's got it! Look at George! Ricky George has done it! What a moment for Hereford! It's amazing you guys sort of following in that sort of footsteps. Yeah. So, we're doing a burger today which is uh, inspired by uh, Hereford FC. So my idea behind this was to try and make a burger that's black and white. Okay. So that was what I was kind of thinking of, trying, trying to make this. It's been quite, quite a challenge trying to come up with a black and white word burger. So, uh, one of the sources is I've made something I'm calling bull ketchup, right? Okay. So I'm going to get you to help me sort of yeah, make yeah, this that's now, funny. Right? So we've got a pan on uh, here. You know, but I need to put, check, well, not, not those, but I need to put, check everything else in that pan. Okay. You just got a spoon there, yeah. So just all there. straight in? Yeah, that one's straight in me. Okay. So we've got Worcestershire sauce there. Uh, Probably shouldn't have Worcestershire sauce in a Hereford <laughs> burger, but there we go. Uh, then we've got, uh, that's orange juice. So the idea behind this sauce is a bit like a ketchup and a bit like a steak sauce. You get like an A1 steak sauce, a big American thing, so like that. Then we've got some uh, onion going in there. Don't smash the plates up, can't afford that. Right, and uh, what have we got there? So garlic. garlic, yes please. And then we've got the uh, ballpark mustard. Okay. Which is, so ballpark mustard is really nice, it's like a sweet, uh, so it's not like English mustard, which is quite hot for the pasta in that. Oh, I want to scoop it out of that too. There you go, yeah. Cool, and then the last thing to go in there is ketchup and unbelievably green beans as well. Decent that, very it's decent. It's a, it's a crazy mix of stuff, it's a bit of a mad sauce this one, but um, yeah, you know, I had to sort of come up with something that was going to go black. Yeah. So yeah, you, you chuck all these things in, whack it on the hob for a little bit, reduce it down, and then to help with the black colour, at the very end we add a little bit of um, sort of uh, food colouring in there to help that, to help that sort of thing along. So being from Hereford, have you ever been to the Beefy Boys before? I have indeed, yeah. Brilliant. You're not vegetarian, are you? No, no, not a vegetarian. No. Cool. What, what burgers do you like? I'd have to say the Bacon Boy for me. Definitely, definitely the Bacon Boy. Uh, if we, don't tell the gaffer, but maybe a double pack in there as well. But. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to bubble that thing. So this is the one secret ingredient in it. So this is a black lime. Yeah. So I, I never even heard of black limes until a while ago. But they use them in uh, Peru in like stews and that. Okay. It gives like a bit of a citrus uh, sort of flavour. So I think it's just a lime which has gone off. Yeah. I think. But don't, <laughs> don't try making it yourself like that. You have to buy them already done. So it's like a dried, uh, dried 
sure he never mind. And then it's a little bit like a football. So we try. Yeah, I don't think Toby's with me on that one, but uh, he knows more about football than me. <laughs> so I'll, I'll break down to him there. So, so I guess you've been playing sort of football, they said, from the youth academy. Yeah. As the sort of kid. What, and on your on your guys' sort of journey to to the final, yeah. what's have been some of the highlights of that? What sort of the, the games that sort of stand out to you? So I think we've played about six rounds, I think, to get to where we are now. Yeah. Um, we had probably the biggest highlight so far in the quarter final. Um, we played away at a team called Oldershot, who were in the league above us, and, mm -hmm. we, and they equalised. It was 1-0 up, and they equalised in the last kick of the game. Can Reese get a shot away? He can't, and then it is driven in, and then it's across the line, and it's in the net. Oldershot have equalised in the dying moment. So we went to penalties, and we won on penalties. So uh, Did you get to take a penalty? No, no. No, no, <laughs> no racking, yeah, but um, that was probably the biggest highlight so far. Just the fact that they come back in the last minute, they was all like celebrating, yeah. um, and then to win on penalties is obviously it's buzzing. So um, yeah, man. And how's it been like with that? Because obviously, I guess one of the things you guys have been missing is that connection with the fans. But uh, from what I can tell, some Hereford fans are mad loyal, aren't yeah. they? Really sort of into it. So do you guys still get? Do you have much interaction with them? Sort of on, you know, online or sort of Twitter? How does it work? Yeah. COVID? Well, Hereford fan base is. Well, in my opinion, best at our level and best in levels above. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we used to be in the league as well a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the support is, is crazy. But, yeah, it's, thankfully we had them in for a couple of games like, just before Christmas, which is good just to even get some in, yeah. like, just to engage a bit with the players and stuff. Because, obviously, we've got new players this year as well, mm -hmm. and they've never even got to experience the fans at yeah, Egg Street yeah. before. So, um, yeah, no, it's been good after the semi-final everyone was buzzing all the videos coming out of everybody celebrating and yeah, stuff so yeah, yeah. um but yeah obviously everybody's just buzzing to get to the final and then get actual 3,000 fans in is just amazing feeling so yeah it's awesome i mean because we're i don't think we're opening a restaurant in shrewsbury and we were maybe a little bit naive i never realized about how the rivalry between hereford yeah. and shrewsbury when it came to football yeah. and uh when we announced oh yeah we were opening a restaurant in shrewsbury we had a load of hereford fans on uh, <laughs> twitter being like Oh, how dare you open <laughs> one in Shrewsbury? No, I'm mean, so really sorry. You know, we didn't really in, in, in intend for that. But maybe we can try and, you know, smooth things over a little bit. But we didn't realise how you know, serious those sort of rivalries yeah. are, are taken. We were like, oh, can we, can we just let burgers go. We don't, we don't get involved in that. Um, right, so basically we're going to do two smash patties. Okay. So in the restaurant, obviously, we offer people the you know, thick patty, smash patty, whatever. But today we're going to do uh, two smash patties. Yeah. And uh, with, we're going to have jack cheese on this because it goes white when you Sort of steam it. Yeah. We've got some white onion which we're going to grill on here, and uh, we're going to use the uh, the sauce, the ball ketchup, which as you can see is here, which is sort of jet black uh, now. Put the sauce on the top, and then the sauce on the bottom for the white, we're going to use our garlic and herb uh, mayo, which is basically garlic, herb, yeah. and lemon juice, and that as well. So, right, so I'm going to chuck these uh, smash patties on. So we're done, we smashed these patties down, we got, uh, these are two uh, three ounce patties each, so it's going to be sort of a six ounce patty burger, oh we need to get these onions on as well. Okay. So what we're going to do, we've got little rings of uh, sort of white on onion here, yeah. that we are going to uh, throw on. So, have you had any sort of football heroes who played for Hereford? I remember years and years ago, this is, I think it was Chalky White, who was the one that sort of I remember as a kid, but any sort of like inspiration you've had from the team? Right? I, yeah. I guess the big inspiration is Jared Bowen, really, mm -hmm. coming from Hereford and playing for Hereford in League Two, I think it was then, or the National League, and um, going and playing for West Ham in the Premier League now, it's, it's amazing, right. and it just shows that anything can happen, really. Um, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, He's from Leinster as well, so he's a local boy, and um, yeah. yeah, it's great to see, I definitely say he's one. That's one of the amazing things about people, isn't it? That he, it's one of the only things in the world, you know, most things in life, it you know, depends on who you know and your connections and that, but it's one of those things for me where if you've got the skill, yeah. then you can rise from, you know, wherever to be in, you know, sort of top yeah, of game yeah. playing internationally. And, uh, you know, and the wages those guys are on, that's yeah. crazy, aren't they? Right, so we're going to give these a bit of steam. Okay. Now what we're doing now, we're just going to flip these uh, onions over. Now we're not trying to cook these onions through, just give them a little bit, a little bit of sort of colour on there. Right, we're going to steam these quick. We're going to have to get the sauce on here really quick. Yep. So here's the uh, full ketchup that we're going to whack on uh, the top. Ooh. We're going to do some little lines, a little bit of full ketchup on top. So that's the black element. Okay. And then here's going to be the white bit of the kit. Right, it's a messy old business, thank you, <laughs> Right, here we go. So we've got the 
cheese nicely melted. And the reason we're using sort of jack for this, because the whole idea was to get sort of black and white burger. Yeah. Is the jack food sort of bright white it's melted. Yeah, it's looking good. So we're going to slice some onion in the middle. Stack them up. Top of each other. Okay. These will be red hot, man, so we'll give, them, uh, <laughs> we'll give them a couple of sort of seconds. Of that. So, if you could, what's your sort of like, any other sort of favourite memories or good little stories you've had from sort of playing for Hereford? Sort of... Yeah, I'd say like, this year, especially my first year with the first team, making my debut was a big one for me. Yeah. Um, it's just a great memory, and thankfully it was actually at sort of Christmas time, and because the fans were allowed in, I was allowed to get my family in. And, all that sort of thing, so it was proper special, especially from being local as well. Yeah, um, yeah. It would have been a shame to make my debut with nobody with there, nobody, do you know what yeah. I mean? So that was obviously great for me, and um, to be able to get my like, mum and stuff there it was amazing. So um, definitely my special moment this year. That was actually in this competition as well, so oh, the man, final, yeah. so it's amazing. Play at Wembley, what a story. Oh, Wembley, yeah, hopefully you get to win that final. And, um, yes, well, that's the next step. Well, you've got to win it now, haven't you, really, man? <laughs> Radford again. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Radford, the scorer. Very good, that one. Very good. Thank you very much, Ron. Mm. It's really nice because that ball catcher has got all the sort of zing in it. Yeah, from all the sort of fruit and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Mm. And good, that. Oh, mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, Toby's going to be off playing for Hereford FC. Trying to bring out a bracket of the trophy for Hereford, so yeah. Thank you very much, Toby. Well, thanks for having me. No worries. Cheers, yeah, lads. Ronnie Radford! And the crowd! The crowd are invading the pitch, and now it will take some time to clear the field. <laughs> Is it on? Uh, yes, boss. Well, can you see me, Ronald? Yeah. Excellent. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm Tommy. And when I'm not chasing the beefy boys in person, I'm following them all over YouTube. You can, too. Just subscribe here. Don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment. Oh, God damn it, Ronald. Sorry, boss. <laughs>